Hey everyone, I thought I'd change up today's video from a Zelda emulation to a uh, Kirby. Everyone's favorite pink uh, little whatever the hell he is. Anyway, um, so what I'm testing is the just the base game on the latest SteamOS 3.4.8 that just got released today. Um, but anyway, so we'll get into some of the results. There's nothing too data heavy. I only have one slide to show and it's basically just kind of showing SMT on and off. I'll show my settings here. Um, like at the beginning of the video of what I've been using and what I found to work best. I did go again between each option in Yuzu, checking it off and on in certain areas just to see performance. And I found that through various benchmarks, this was the best performing set of options. All right, so getting into the results, it's the bomb run in the background there. So I'm just running around in a circle like a madman, just throwing bombs as fast as I can just to produce as much slowdown as possible. So as we can see here with my current settings that I have, running SMT on, as kind of expected is usually running SMT on an emulation is detrimental. We got an average of 29 and 28, so about in line, and then some pretty okay 1% lows, I'd say 19, 17, 17, 16. Now turning SMT off for the two runs, we got a significant boost to 32, 34 for the FPS average, and a pretty significant boost to the 1% lows and the 0.1% lows as well, bringing that up to 22, 22. Uh, 22 and 20. Again, that's running SteamOS 3.4.8, base version of Kirby in the Forgotten Land. I believe there's one or maybe two updates out for it, um, but I'm just testing the base version, sorry. All right, and to change the video up just a little bit, instead of going for a bunch of charts and a bunch of benchmark results and things like that, I figured I'd just kind of take you through a little bit of my process of when I test games like emulators or AAA games or whatever. So after dialing in all my Yuzu settings, I just continue to play the game. I don't do any Steam Deck settings like GPU locks or anything like that up until I get to a point where I feel like it's necessary to maybe tweak some things. So this was the first area that I got to where everything was still noticeably dropping pretty consistently. So you can see here I just enlarged the frame rate up in the top right there as we're doing some GPU clock frequencies. So as we can see, going down to about 800, 900 is an okay range because even when you set it to automatic, it only ever goes to about 800, 900 at most when you're running normal handheld or docked mode. Um, and then same thing for SMT, I just wanted to do another SMT test so you can see here kind of the big difference there. And sorry, my editing skills were poor, so when SMT was on, uh, it, it doesn't show the FPS in the corner. I apologize for that, but uh, trust me, it is better. And then I also did test the uh, performance governor as well because that did help in our Tears of the Kingdom performance in some cases. So I did test that and I noticed no real difference between the scheduled and the performance. Then finally, I was doing some TDP testing because although I don't necessarily care about my battery life most of the time, I understand that a, by a handheld, by nature, people are concerned about battery life. So I just wanted to kind of bring down the TDP and see how far we could kind of push things before we started losing performance. With this one, honestly, I wouldn't recommend going below 10 watts. Um, you can push it all the way down to like 5, 6, whatever watts, but then you can see that the frame times are kind of getting a little bit uneven, and then you are dropping frames there. So it's totally up to you how far you want to push it, but I would say 10 to 12 would be an okay range for the TDP. Then finally, I wanted to get into some resolution testing as well. So I didn't want to push it too far. So I only did the 1.5 and 2 times resolution changes. Honestly, I didn't really notice too much of a performance difference between playing the two different versions and the base version, uh, switching between handheld and dock modes and all that. 
The only thing to note is that if you do push up the resolution, obviously you're going to have to increase your GPU limit. So I, when I went up to two times resolution, I believe I had to kick it up to 1200 or 1300 uh, megahertz just to give it a little bit more breathing room. But beyond that, CPU wise, we were still staying the same. Performance in areas was generally the same as base performance on my testing. I didn't do any extensive benchmarks, but just general gameplay, it felt nearly the same to my eyes. Um, honestly, I would recommend playing this one at 1.5 with a lock 30 frames per second. The You can play up to 60 frames per second, and that's the mod that I have in this. I just wanted to keep that just to see how much more performance we'd get over the deck. Or the Nintendo Switch, my apologies. Um, but, with that being said... There are just moments where the game's gonna drop frames, and regardless of your settings or whatever, it's just gonna drop, and that's you're gonna have to live with that. And nine times out of ten, like that's just emulation woes, right? Especially with Nintendo Switch emulation as well. So to close things off, I would say yes, Kirby is playable on the Steam Deck, with a few caveats. And those being that, yes, you're going to get performance drops. You can get a pretty stable 30 lock most of the time in lighter scenes and when things aren't going on. Granted, I've been stressing the game engine out as much as I can, so I'm running around like an idiot, throwing bombs left, right, and center, throwing boomerangs, doing all sorts of crazy stuff just to get the game to slow down. So I'm not playing like an average player would, I would say, unless the average player is doing like a speed run or a frantic run or something. So your experience should be a little bit better than mine. Granted, you aren't doing the same stupid little tests that I'm doing and causing these slowdowns on purpose. Again, though, you will get drops down to 20, and the shader stutters are still there, but compared to Tears of the Kingdom, these shader stutters are nothing, and within like five minutes of gameplay, you're cruising. There was a couple of moments right in the beginning where it just always stuttered for me for some reason, so there might be moments like that later on in the gameplay, but for the few hours that I played with my settings... It's fairly decent, I would say. It's not perfect by any means. I'm not claiming it's perfect. It's not going to be a lock 30. But you know what? I could play it. And I'm sure a lot of people could play it too. Anyways, let me know what you guys think. Uh, fire off something down in the comments. Whether it's nice, mean, I don't really care. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Or leave nothing at all. Silence is the greatest weapon of all, I suppose. Um, but anyway, hope everyone has a good day. And enjoy the rest of your weekend.